Hi friends, how the hell are you? Lexi Luxury here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Y'all made it very apparent that you wanted to see some Valentine's Day outfit ideas. So whether Valentine's Day is coming up or it already passed, all these outfits can be recreated for any situation that you wanna get a little bit dressed up for. And as per usual, everything that I can find will be linked in the description box down below or it will be something similar. I will scour the internet for you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed yet, join the fam. Like that thumbs up because it helps me so, so much. I have big goals for my channel this year. So yeah, do that. Okay, that is enough for the intro. Let's get into the outfits. Outfit number one, I love this. Obviously I'm gonna love all of them. Okay, like I'm putting these outfits together based off my own personal style. I feel like this is so, romantic this gives like classic valentine's day to me like wine and dine me get me the heart shaped box chocolate get me a dozen roses get me a teddy bear like that's what this is giving this is giving like princess privilege in an outfit this of course is also perfect for just like a standard date night anyways let's get into the details the dress which is the star of the show she is from motel rocks i don't know if it's still available as you guys know i will link something similar it's just like a gorgeous little slip dress i think any white off-white cream lacy slip vibe would be perfect you could totally recreate this look with any variation of that if you're looking in thrift stores highly recommend checking out the lingerie section literal slip dresses that look exactly like this that are vintage and they're stunning the bag is thrifted my little ribbon is from amazon i got it in a set of four the shoes are the same ones i always wear the misguided ones but i link the steve madden version because they are better quality and actually the steve madden ones in this color have been out of stock but there's a nine west version that's very similar i can vouch for those so i will link those for you guys as far as jewelry is concerned you're not going to see me switch it up that much i just wear the same old stuff ring from adorn monde my wedding ring obviously this is a ring that my grandma gave me a ring from awe inspired and then for the wrist, vintage watch. This little guy, which my friend bought for me in Italy. It has my husband's initial on it. Please get a good look at this. Like how gorgeous is that? What do you mean? Since it is Valentine's Day, we all like to smell good. I figured I would like pair some fragrances with the outfits as well. I would say that with this one, I would wear the replica on a date perfume. This perfume smells amazing i get so many compliments on it specifically by like older men do with that what you will i'm actually literally gonna spray it right now oh my gosh it is like the perfect mix of sexy and playful let's move on outfit two i feel like this gives more galentine's day vibes maybe you don't have a valentine's that is more than a platonic friend and that's okay we can still be hot we can still go out you could put on fleece line tights with this maybe a little bit longer skirt or some trousers i think this would be absolutely adorable anytime i wear a blazer it's just kind of like man repellent and I love it like men are very intimidated by women in a blazer at least in my experience you can tell they think you're super hot stunning gorgeous flawless but it's like they already know they don't have a chance with you you mean business just something to think about anyways let's break this outfit down starting off with this stunning blazer super vintage absolutely love it this little under blouse situation you guys have seen me layer this specifically with this vest so many times both of these are from revolve and both are super down the skirt is a steve madden skirt my black chanel bag my blue light ceo glasses and my steve madden evelyn pointed toe pumps for the scent pairing if you will i would personally wear the flower bomb ruby orchid by victor wolf it has a hint of that flower bomb underneath but it has more of like a musky sultry kind of vibe to it it kind of gives that vibe of like fuck off but like in a sexy way do you know what i mean outfit three obviously we went super casual with this one well i don't know i feel like you throw on a pair of heels and somebody's like oh my god you're all dressed up like girl i'm wearing jeans and a t-shirt how much more casual can i be there are two types of people in this world and it's okay to be either one this is very casual to me it's also very comfortable maybe you're just having like a night on the town with your little situation ship or bar hopping doing something like a little more laid back dinner drinks in a movie this is the vibe anyways let's break down the outfit shall we this top i am actually freaking obsessed with I have to give big ups to my husband because he got this for me for christmas i'd never even heard of the brand before it's by a brand called negative underwear it is the most comfortable form fitting he really popped off i don't even think he understands like how well he did anyways he deserved that moment let's move on the jeans are girlfriend absolutely love these i've had these for over a year now i cannot stop wearing them i just moved my watch onto the outside i added one more stack of rings this is another stack by adorn monday like i said it's so comfortable it really gives cool girl vibes like oh i'm not 
trying, but like, we all know you did. Also, I'm wearing the same earring stack I wear every single day. Pearls in the front stack, and then two Adorn Monde, like, huggy hoops in the back. If I wanted to dress up this look just a little bit more, I would grab these earrings. They just, like, elevate an entire look. I almost don't want to tell you about this fragrance because it is my absolute favorite. I, like, don't even post this on my stories. This is only for the YouTube girlies. Don't do me dirty. Don't go telling everyone about this, please. This stays between you and I. This is the Mise en Serre Très Cherie. She is pricey as ever. I'm not even gonna hold you. If I remember correctly, it has like orange blossom. I think there might be some amber in here as well. Outfit four. If you are interested in purchasing something and not just pulling from your closet, I feel like you can never go wrong with a set. You get your money's worth. You can use the top for something else. You can use the bottom for something else. Something about a set just does it for me. Also incredibly easy to style. Like hello. If you show up to date night in this outfit, like girl, Girl, it makes such a statement and I feel like it's so fun. It's also the pinkest thing I have in my closet. So here's the pink for all you Valentiners out there. This set is from Revolve. I'm using my mini Gucci Marmot bag and then I'm wearing the same pumps that you guys saw earlier. Same jewelry, didn't change a damn thing there. And then for the fragrance pairing, I feel like Coco Mademoiselle just goes absolutely perfect with this. She is like one of my top three. She might be my absolute favorite perfume. If you're ever wondering what I'm smelling like, it's probably this. I just feel like a Chanel perfume really makes you smell like you have your shit together. It makes you smell expensive. And the Coco Mademoiselle still has like that like feminine kind of flirty vibe to it, but still being like that heavy Chanel fragrance. Do you know what I mean? I'm sure you guys have all smelled Coco Mademoiselle by now, but if you haven't, go run to your local department store, sniff this out, try it on, walk around, come back, and then purchase it. It is pricey, but a little bit goes a long way, and it's a great fragrance to have in your collection. Okay, that is this outfit. I have two more to show you guys, and then we're done. Outfit five, honestly. I don't know exactly what occasion this outfit would be for other than the same ones we've already gone over. What are good date ideas that aren't overdone? If you guys have any ideas, please leave them in the comment section down below. Anyways, I love this. This is honestly a nice like anti-Valentine's Day outfit. If you're just like not with the vibes, you hate to wear red or pink, this is a slight. It's giving Wednesday Adams grows up and goes on a date. I'm here for it. Let's break down the outfit. <laughs> I'm wearing that same blouse underneath here that you guys saw earlier from Super Down. This sweater is actually from Amazon. I will link this set if I can find it for you guys. It should still be available. It comes with like a little pair of shorts. I didn't love the shorts that much, but the sweater is a pretty good one for layering purposes. This skirt, love her. She's obviously giving like hot pants more than like a short situation. I love that it looks like a skirt in the front and I have this giant buckle. This is just absolutely stunning. But like the back is kind of cheeky. A riskier fashion move. I would definitely feel more comfortable wearing like fleece line tights or just like tights in general under this. But I personally love the length of the skirt. I feel like that's what gives it its fun shape, especially with like a long sleeve and juxtaposition. And with a pair of heels, wearing those same Steve Madden pumps. I have the Chanel bag. And then I did add a little white ribbon to my hair. Adorable, so cute, so chic. For the fragrance pairing, I would go back to my Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid. And it has like that mysterious edge to it. And I feel like this outfit just kind of gives that. Outfit six. I thought we would do something nice and chic and classy to wrap it up. It's giving mature, it's giving take me seriously, it's giving put a ring on this finger. A little bit of like Hampton's wifey, which we love to give here if you're new. Let's dive into the last outfit, shall we? This blazer you guys have seen before. She is thrifted. This is also a thrifted long sleeve sweater. It's very much like a Rachel Berry situation. This score is my tried and true Steve Madden score. I actually checked this the other day. This is still in stock. I would highly recommend purchasing this if you do not have a staple black mini skirt in your closet. I decided to pair my little Gucci Marmot with this just because I wanted to pull out more of the cream, but honestly, a black bag with black pumps I think would have popped off a little harder, but I gotta commit to it now. Wearing the same cream pumps from earlier. Oh, and I did pop on these earrings because I felt like it solidified the like womanly cunty vibe. You know what I mean? For the fragrance pairing, I'm almost out of this. That shows you how much I love this. This was actually gifted to me by a friend. It's the Jo Malone Poppy and Barley perfume. I don't know anything else that smells like this. It just, it really gives like that like mature vibe. Do you know what I mean? Anyways, that is all for today's outfit inspo video. I hope you loved it. I hope you have fun recreating these looks. Let me know which one you would be most likely to wear in the comment section down below. Also, if you have any fun date night ideas, your girl could use some inspo. And remember, everything will be linked in the description box down below along with similar items for stuff that I cannot find on the internet anymore. Before you leave, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, give this video a big ass thumbs up. It helps out my channel so, so much. If you liked this video, make sure you check out 
these videos. You will probably also love them. Anyways, I am off to take all this makeup off and eat some pizza. <laughs> I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you next week. Bye.